stress hello good people hope you are doing good so let's start the game first we have to meet kareem and get talks from him and then we will negotiate with rais okay kareem what you have to say there you are rais said you'd be coming by i'm kareem crane an american i have an uncle there lives in texas you from texas you a cowboy i'm from chicago okay al capone we'll be in constant contact over the radio that way i can make sure you get where you need to go and where's that exactly you're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators most of my men are too slow too fat or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves and if i do this i'll get the answers in that's between you and rice I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Okay, first of all I have to inform GRE about the Rice. Uh, Rice is definitely a good guy. Uh, he's a former agent. Suleiman that see in the starting video of the game and I think we have found the right guy. He is the actual villain of the game. Crane. Report. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Atlas at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base.
I'm shouting because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Fucking on! Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck, I was afraid of that. All right, head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the Z 
zip line and head east. You'll see it. Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter is trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. Okay, we will see who died horribly. Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. The fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei, and probably his son Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? Stay alive here. Dad, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So we work for them. That's how we stay safe. Think too much with your mouth, Cristo. Start using your head or you're going to get us both killed. worth it.
And this thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem, second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. The job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizen. Not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some answers in now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazin when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazin. All right, fine. What do you want me to do? This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. And there is really cheap, I would say. <laughs> 